this is once again Mr. Damon Musician and today don't worry this is gonna be my last football video for a while I'll be back to video games and movies and movies and stuff like that soon but well here I have a two-part video on my Super Bowl prediction for next year I'm gonna be doing one video for the NFC side another video for the AFC side and at the end of the AFC I'm predicting the Super Bowl winner and everything. Now, I'm going to be starting NFC North, South, East, and West, and then AFC North, South, East, and West, and I'm going to tell you the seeding and all that fun stuff. And the wild cards, the divisional round, and the championship winners and all that. But first, let me talk about the uh, records of each team. <clears throat> For the NFC North, I'm going to start with the Chicago Bears. I think they're going to go 10 and 6. I mean, they're a doubted team, and I don't know why. And Matt Forte is a better running back than most people think he is. I mean, they went 6 and 10 last year, and nobody expected them to, so. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. The Detroit Lions, this could really go one of two ways. Um,. They could go six and ten. They could go ten and six. Either way, they're not going to have a playoff season. But the Detroit Lions are one of those on-off teams. But I think this next year is going to be another off year. Uh, I just don't think Matthew Stafford has the kind of talent that everybody gives him. And he has enough. It's just that he doesn't have a good enough team around him to show it off. Green Bay Packers, they're going to go 12-4. and four. They do it every year. Every year They're going to do it again. It's that simple. The Minnesota Vikings, 11-5. and five. They have Adrian Peterson. I, I, I put quite a bit of stock in the Minnesota Vikings. I think they're going to go to the uh, wild card round of the playoffs. The NFC South, Atlanta Falcons. I predict that the Atlanta Falcons like last year, are going to be number one in the entire NFL. I think they're going to go 14-2 and two next year. Uh, so that pretty much says what I think about the Atlanta Falcons. I think they can pull it off. They just need to improve a little bit over this offseason. One thing they really need to improve is their second half performance. As I noticed in those last two games, first half of those games were great. They had the crap beat out of Seattle. They even had the crap beat out of San Francisco. But the second half of those games were crap. In the game against San Francisco, in the second half, they didn't even put up a point. They couldn't put up a field goal. They couldn't put up a touchdown. They didn't get a single point in the second half of that game. That made me mad, but, well, yeah, that's, that's the way it goes. Um... The NFC South, that's actually the only division right now that I don't have a team with a losing season. However, I do have a team that's going to go 8-8, eight and eight, Carolina Panthers. They got Cam Newton. That's really all you can say for them. They got Cam Newton. Uh, that's, that's really it. I mean, there's really no other talent on that team. The New Orleans Saints... <clears throat> I think Drew Brees is going to pull out of a hat 10 and 6 season. By no means a wild card season, a you know, playoff season at all, but good season. I got a few that are like that that well people might not really expect. And one of them you're going to see in this video, one of them you're going to see in the next video, I think. Yeah. And the Tampa Bay Bucks, nine and seven. I don't think they're gonna do all that bad, but I don't think they're gonna do good. But I think they have the ability to pull off nine wins. NFC East, Dallas Cowboys, eh, seven and nine. Get rid of Tony Romo. Get rid of the coach. Cause those two are like fire and gasoline. They're never going to be able to work together. You need to get both of them off the team entirely. 
a lot of people actually don't realize that the coach is one thing that's bringing the Cowboys down. New York Giants, I know they went 7-9 and nine last year, and I'm going to sound a little retarded saying this. I think they're going to go 11-5. and five. I mean, again, I don't think they're going to have a playoff season, but 11-5 and five is what I'm sticking with for the Giants. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, 7-9. and nine. Again, offense, well, not really again, but uh, their offense is fantastic. Their defense is atrocious. And finally, the Washington Redskins. Everyone's doubting the Redskins because of RG3's uh, injury. But honestly, I think he could come back, maybe not at full power, but with a better team around him. I mean, they're gonna. Des I mean, they're gonna draft players with his offensive design. So, you know, and another thing was he was a rookie. I mean, he's got a year of experience under his belt now. He'll be able to pull off smarter plays and it just in general he'll be better I mean he led the Redskins to their first winning season in a few years I think I think it was their well it's their first playoff season in a few years I know that NFC West this is the one where y'all are probably gonna think I'm stupid for calling this but first of all this is what you're going to think I'm really stupid for. Arizona Cardinals. I think they're going to get a good quarterback in the draft. I, I know his name. I just can't think of it right now. But they're going to get him in the draft. And I think they're going to go 11-5. and five. They got Larry Fitzgerald. They just need to draft him. Uh, draft some better defensive players. And I think they'd be set up for an 11-5 and five season. The other one that is going to throw people off. The 49ers. No, I'm not predicting them to have a bad season. I'm just not predicting them to have a playoff season. 10 and 6. Why? I mean, think about it. Kaepernick, he got into the NFL his first year. He made it all the way to the Super Bowl, and then he chokes. Emotionally, that's going to have an effect on him next season. But, another thing is, Alex Smith has left. And, uh, well, that's going to have more of an effect on the team than they think. Than most people think, really. But, uh, 49ers 10-6. and six. I, I really can't give them anything better. Uh, to be honest... The 49ers were pretty overhyped this season. I was surprised they even made it to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> I mean, when they got to the Super Bowl, I was thinking, yeah, they're going to win this. I was hoping, yeah, they're going to win this. But it just didn't happen. And I think that's going to have an effect on Colin Kaepernick next year. Seattle Seahawks, they're going to win the division. I think they're going to win 12 games. 12-4 and four for the Seattle Seahawks. They need to improve on minute things. You know, maybe tweak the defense just a little bit. Tweak the offense just a little bit. They're good. Really, I, they are. They just, that's really all they have to do. And the St. Louis Rams... Four and twelve. They really never have a good season. People put a whole lot of stock into them that really they don't. I don't want to say they don't deserve it because don't get me wrong, they're a hardworking team and I like them. But uh, I don't know. I think Stephen Jackson is a bit overhyped as well. On to the seeding now. The first seed. The Atlanta Falcons. 14 wins. You can't argue with results. Uh, two. Again, call me crazy, but second seed, Washington Redskins. 
with uh, 12 and 4. Yeah. Plus that, the rest of that division, other than the Giants, is going to be crap. And the Giants aren't going to be near as good as the Redskins are, in my opinion. Uh, third seed, Green Bay Packers. Let's make it three years in a row where the third seed is Green Bay Packers. Wait, Green Bay was third seed last year, right? I think they were. I know they were either third or fourth. Well, no, maybe they weren't because uh, San Francisco went 11, 4, and 1. And I'm just not thinking straight right now. Uh, fourth seed, Seattle Seahawks. So... That's my predictions for the uh, division winners. Now, at fifth seed on the first wild card, I'm thinking the Arizona Cardinals. I really am. I mean, people don't give him their credit. In particular, people don't give Larry Fitzgerald his credit. And the sixth seed, uh, I, I, I'm just going to go with what everybody else is saying, Minnesota Vikings. I mean, honestly, other than the 49ers instead of the Cardinals, who doesn't have the same as I do? All right, so for the wild card round of the playoffs on the NFC side, I see Minnesota going to Green Bay, and I think they're going to win that game 38-34. to Now, I am giving my particular scores here. I'm not going to tell you that these are exactly spot on, but I think it's going to be something close to these. I see Arizona going to Seattle and pulling off a close fourth quarter win with 41-34. to 34. That's going to be a really fun game to watch because in my opinion, both of them are going to be really good teams next year. Well matched as well. Uh... And in the divisional round of the playoffs, Arizona going to Washington. I see this being one of the lower scoring games in the playoffs on either side, other than one of the matchups I have in the AFC. This probably is the uh, lowest scoring. Yeah. Other than the uh, wild card round matchup I have, I'm not going to tell you who it's between, obviously, but. This is the lowest scoring in the NFC, second lowest overall. Uh, Arizona going to Washington. I see Arizona pulling off, once again, I see him pulling off a fourth quarter win, 24-17. to Minnesota going to Atlanta. Now, this is something I'd like to see because this is going to prove whether Atlanta has improved their running defense here. Because Minnesota, they're going to run the ball. And that one's obvious. With Adrian Peterson, they're going to run the ball. Atlanta, this season, they had a weak running defense. And, again, that's a matchup I'd like to see for that reason. And in the uh, conference championship for the NFC, Arizona is going to it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the score on uh, Minnesota going to Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta wins the game by a pretty big margin. I'm saying 41 to 28 Atlanta. And in the uh, NFC Championship conference game, Arizona going to Atlanta. Atlanta wins the game 41 to 35. Yes, I realize everybody out there is going to call him is going to be calling me stupid because I'm saying Arizona is going to go to the conference championship, but I think it's going to happen. I really do. If Arizona gets the right players in the draft, it's going to happen. So that's the end of my NFC video. Next up, I will have my AFC video and my Super Bowl video. So see you then.